Hi, this is Tim from Motorland with our 1939 Cadillac Series 90 V16 limousine formal sedan and we're going to do a startup tour. So Josiah's in the driver's seat. He's first going to hit the battery switch, turn that on. Then he's going to turn the starter key and press the starter button. So even though she hasn't been started up, been in storage here for this New England winter, turns right over. We'll walk around so you can see the engine compartment. Car idles really nicely. We had a little bit warmer weather, we'd take her out for a ride. So you can see how smoothly she drives. We'll just walk around. If you look up on the firewall, I'll close up on the data plate. When it comes into view. Cadillac Motors, and you can see his body number eight. The formal sedan, which is one of the several of the Series 90 models for 1939. This is number eight of eight. The car was restored in 1983 by Hibernia Auto Restorations in Hibernia, New Jersey. And there's their plate affixed to that. Eugene Beardsley, the owner of the car in New York, worked with Bob Turnquist at Hibernia in this time period on many of his restorations. And the uh, quality of the restoration speaks for itself in this 30-year-old preservation in really outstanding condition. The car is here in our climate controlled storage facility. I'll just take a quick walk around the back so you can see the exhaust. So, exhaust acting normally, no white smoke or anything scary like that. Take a look at the trunk compartment. Taking a look at the inside of our 1939 Cadillac Series 90 formal sedan, we'll take a look at the instrument panel. Josiah, you want to hit the horn? That works. Going across the dash, looking at the gauges, the temperature gauge, that's working, followed by the battery gauge, that's working. The speedometer works. In the odometer, showing just 559 miles, likely reset when the car was restored in 1983. True mileage is unknown. The gas gauge, that's working. See, we have a half tank of gas in the car, and the oil pressure gauge is working. In the center of the dash, we've got the radio. Radio does not appear to be working right now. The wiper knob does not appear to be working right now, so we'll check into that. Throttle is working. The instrument lights, you want to hit the that, and you can see the light. Turn it off, Josiah. So that's working. The starter. And what's really cool, the ash and tray kind of pulls out to reveal that. And then the lighter as well. The clock on the glove box is not working. All right, we're going to, to take a look at the headlights. Josiah, you want to flip them on? There we go. 
we'll walk around to the back and then we'll take a look at the lights in the back there we go continuing our finger pointing tour we're going to show you the doors opening we're on the passenger side let's go ahead and open the front door and go ahead and close it nice and tight and we'll do the rear door as well We're going to take a finger pointing tour walking around the 1939 Cadillac. The quality of the restoration was superb by Bob Turnquist and Hibernia in 1983 and the quality of the preservation through the care of the family in the past 30 years. The car is really in remarkable condition. Even just some of the details like the leather around where the, the hood comes down in great condition. You can see no pitting at all on the chrome or trim. All remarkably well preserved. A close up on the B16. Some of the details like looking at where the front bumper is mounted, the rubber still nice, soft and supple. The car has largely been in storage for the past 10 years. The paint is really strong, could use a nice detailing. The mirror here is a little loose. Looking at the side vent on the passenger side, there's a few loose threads. Could probably be trimmed back by our upholstery specialist. Look at some of the hinges. There's no paint loss where you would typically see some of that. The trim, nice and clean, no pits on that. Chrome really nice on the running board. Rubber in really nice condition here as well. Walking around the rear of the car. The car's midnight blue. See a little bit of that in the in the beautiful top. Walking around to the trunk. Nicely redone. Padded cover. Reveals a little hard to see here. We can get, we'll get some light back here on the wood. did want to point out though, if you look at the top inside, I'll try to get that in focus for you. You can see it here. There is some orange peeling and waviness in the paint on the inside of the, the trunk right there in the center. You don't see that at all on the hood. And then here we get some light in here so you can see the the wood in the back. And then there in the corner where the jack is. Just how you want to pick up the right hand side of the pad. Just be able to show the floor underneath and the wood in exceptional condition. Here's the exhaust pipe. Maybe a little dust but clean as a whistle. No rust or dirt. Looking at the back bumper as well. Nice and shiny. back 
tail light housing. Again, looking at the leather top against the the trim piece here, nice and clean. Maybe a little hard to see, but a couple of threads here again that could be trimmed out. On the rain guard here above the driver side where I'm running my finger now, a few bumps in the paint. Nothing that's broken through. You really don't see it or really notice it unless you're running your fingers on it. But the length of that has a few bumps in it. Look at the side mirror here as well. It's a little loose. Benefit from some tightening up. Again, just getting some of the details on the, just the chrome and trim. Really beautiful condition. Coming back to the front. Getting really nice and close on that. Getting nice and close on the front headlight. Looking at the bumper, the license plate bracket. And getting again close up on the grill so that you can see. Nice and clean, no pitting. You need this inside area as well. A little dusty, but really nice and strong. The only issue in all of the chrome and stainless is here on the back bumper, where just above the C ending Cadillac, just might be a little divot and just a little roughness, and just the slightest pitting starting to happen right there. But otherwise, the rest of it's in great shape. We're going to roll up the windows now. Regulators work perfectly. Going up, now down. And we unhooked the latch on the vent window. We'll go ahead and open that up right now. Just do a nice close-up. Rubber is all excellent, nice and supple, no dryness in any of that. We'll close it up. We're taking a look at the divider window. We're going to see how easily it rolls up. And back down.